Good afternoon and welcome to a very brief bulletin here on the Angry Astronaut. It turns out that Japan's smart lander for investigating Moon, or the SLIM, has accomplished yet another miracle on the lunar surface. After falling on its face rather unceremoniously when it first landed, the lander was able to accumulate enough solar radiation on its solar panels, even though they were obviously out of position, to operate operate during its initial phase on the moon, but then the lunar night hit and everybody expected the probe to die because it doesn't have any sort of radioisotope warming system, which is supposed to be the only way a probe like this can survive the intense cold that exists in the lunar night. However, this isn't what happened. For the first time since the surveyor probes of the 1960s, an unmanned probe without a nuclear reactor of some kind survived the lunar night and came back to life ready to do more work. Keep in mind that this probe sat down on January 19th and really shouldn't have survived any longer than January 29th under the best of circumstances. Also, it was designed only as a test vehicle to land on the moon in a precise location, which it definitely did, and then to examine perhaps one or two rocks with a spectrographic camera designed to determine the composition of this rather unique area of the moon and instead it was able to photograph no less than six rocks in great detail. They're called St. Bernard, Kaiken, Akitenu, Bulldog, Shibenu, and Toy Poodle. I probably mispronounced a couple of those but in any event this probe has performed admirably up to this point and now is probably going to get another 10 days worth of operation, assuming it doesn't survive another lunar night. So the bottom line is, aside from falling over, this probe has performed perfectly. It's deployed both of the tiny rovers that it was supposed to send out, and they functioned beautifully, and it's actually done more scientific work than it was intended to do, and it may only just be getting started. Congratulations to JAXA, congratulations to everybody involved with the SLIM program, and let's hope that we can get similar performance out of Odysseus even though it fell on its face. Who knows, maybe falling over is a good omen on the moon. Thank you very much for watching, please like, please subscribe, and also a thank you to Alaskan Stout, my latest Patreon supporter, and also to A. Duncan, who increased his contribution on Patreon. It's folks like you that keep this content coming, and if you'd like to join them, all the details are in the description, and as always, stay angry about space.